free cash flow FCF what is free cash flow free cash flow represents the cash a company generates after cash outflows to support operations and maintain its capital assets unlike earnings or net income free cash flow is a measure of profitability that excludes the non-cash expenses of the income statement and includes spending on the equipment and assets as well as changes in working capital interest payments are excluded from the generally accepted definition of free cash flow investments bankers and analysts who need to evaluate a company's expected performance with different capital structures will use variations of free cash flow like free cash flow for the firm and free cash flow to equity which are finished for interest payments and borrowings similar to sales and tax earnings similar to earnings free cash flow is often evaluated on a per share basis to evaluate the effects of dilution understanding free cash flow why free cash flow is used adjusted equal similarly why which are adjusted for increased payments why free cash flow is used free cash flow in the cash flow available to all investors in a company including common stockholders preferred shareholders and lenders some investors prefer fcf or fcf per share over earnings and earnings per share as a measure of profitability however because fcf for investments in property price and equipment it can be lumpy and even over time imagine a company has earning before depreciation depreciation amortization interest and taxes EBITDA of one million dollars in a given year also assume that this company has had no changes in working capital currently current asset assets current liabilities but they bought new equipment over eight hundred thousand dollars at the end of the year the expense of the new equipment will be uh, re re uh, be removed out of a time uh, on the income statement which even though the impact of earnings spread spread out over time However, before because FCF accounts for new equipment all at once, the company will report 200,000 FCF, 1 million EBITDA, EBITDA, earnings, E, earnings, before depre depreciation, EBIT, earning before depreciation, amortization, depreciation, D, amor Amortization, interest and taxes, IT, I interest, taxes, T, earnings, E earnings, B before, interest, I interest, taxes before, interest, earnings before, interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization, 800 million EBITDA that year. If we assume that everything else remains the same and there are no further equipment purchases, EBITDA and FCF uh, will be equal again the next year in this situation. An investor will have to decide why FCF dipped so rapidly one year and all, only to return to previous levels and if that change is likely to continue. Free cash flow FCF in company analysis. Because FCF accounts for changes in working capital, it can provide important insights into the price of a company and the health of its fundamental trends. For example, a plow in a till in accounts payable outflow could mean that vendors are requiring faster payments. A flow in accounts, a a flow, a decrease. Uh, a decrease in accounts receivable, a decrease in accounts payable inflow means the company is collecting from its clients more rapidly and increase in inventory outflow could indicate a building stockpile of unsold products. 
including working capital and a measure of reliability profitability in provides an insight that is missing from the income statement for example assume that the company had made 50 million per year in net income each year for the last decade on the surface that seems stable but what fcf has been dropping over the last two years as inventories were rising outflow customers started to delay payments outflow and vendors began faster payments removing removing faster payments demanding demanding faster payments outflow from the firm in this situation fcf would reveal a serious financial weakness that wouldn't have been apparent from an examination of the income statement statement alone fcf is also helpful as the starting place for potential shareholders or lenders to evaluate how likely the company will be able to pay their expected dividends or interest if the company's debt payments are deducted from fcf free cash flow to the firm a lender would have a better idea of the quality of cash flows available for additional borrowings similarly shareholders can use fcf interest payments to think about the expected stability of future dividend payments free cash flow fcf calculations free cash fcf can be calculated by starting with cash flows from operating activities and the statement of cash flows because this number will already finish earning for interest payments non-cash expenses and changes in working capital adjusted equal already equal earnings factor cash flow plus cash flow from operating activities location statement of cash flows plus interest expense income statement negative tax shield on interest expense in income statement negative capital expenditures capex capex c-a-p-e-x statement of cash flows cash flow from investing activities the income statements and balance sheet can also be used to calculate fcf factor plus ebit ebit times one tax rate income statement location plus non cash expense depreciation amortization etc income statement chain minus change in current assets current liabilities balance sheet current period and previous period capital expenditures capex balance sheet property plant and equipment current period and previous period free cash flow equals free cash flow other factors from the income statement balance sheet and statement of cash flows can be used to arrive at the same calculation for example if ebit was not given an investor could arrive at the correct calculation in the following way factor net income location income statement plus interest expense income statement minus tax shield on interest expense income statement net interest expense x tax rate plus non-cash expenses depreciation amortization etc income statement change in current assets current liabilities balance sheet current period and previous period capital expenditures capex balance sheet property plant and equipment current period and previous period while fcf is a useful tool it is not subject to the same financial disclosure requirements as other line items in the financial statements this is unfortunate because if you adjust for the fact that capex can make the metric a small lumpy fcf is a good uh, divide check on divide check on double check a good double check on a company's reported uh, profitability although the effort is worth it not all investors have the background knowledge or are willing to the time to adore the time offer the time to calculate the number manually how to define good free cash flow fcf fortunately most financial websites will provide a summary of fcf or a graph of fcf trends for most public companies but however the real challenge remains what constitutes good free cash flow many companies with very positive free cash flow will have miserable stock trends and the opposite can also be true using the trend of fcf can help you simplify your analysis a thought a 
a thought we can borrow. A thought we can borrow. A concept. A concept we can borrow from the technical analysts or chartists is to focus on the trend of fundamental performance rather than the absolute prices of FCF earning or revenue. If stock prices are a function of the underlying underlying then underlying then po po process fundamentals the underlying fundamentals then a positive FCF trend should be correlated with positive stock price trends on average a common approach is to use the stability of FCF trends as a measure of risk if the trend of FCF is stable over the last four to five years then bullish trends in the stock are less likely to be disrupted in the future however falling FCF trends especially FCF trends that are very different compared to earnings and sales trends indicate a highly like higher likelihood of negative price performance negative this approach ignores cost value performance negative cost performance negative value performance this approach ignores the absolute value of fcf to uh, focus on the slope of fcf and its relationship to price performance uh, value performance consider fo consider the following example factor sales revenue 100 uh, 2030 100 dollars plus 5 plus 15 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2 uh, eps one dollar plus three plus fifteen plus seventeen plus not two yeah, yeah. Uh, one dollar plus three plus twelve plus two plus two plus one fcf share eighty five cents plus twelve plus ten minus two minus thirty five yeah, no, minus 25, minus 24, no, yes, minus 24. What would you conclude about a stock's likely value, cost, value, trend with the value fundamental performance? Based on these trends, an investor would be on the alert that something may be going well with the company, but the issues haven't made it to the so-called headline. Uh, numbers revenue and earnings per share EPS could, what what could uh, cause these issues sales and revenue EPS cash flow share cash flow going down like a sack of shit EPS going started going up well then slowed down sales and revenue also slowed down going up but slowed down more than what it was but going slower uh, investment growing investment in growth a company could have diverging trends like these because management is investing in property value property plants property plant plant property plants plants and equipment to grow the business in the previous example an investor could detect that this is the case by looking to see if capex was becoming larger in 2016-18 if fcf plus capex was still upwardly trending this scenario could be a good thing for the stock's value stockpiling inventory between 2015 and 2016 deckers outdoor corp deck famous for their ugg boots grew sales by by a little more than three percent however inventory grew by more than 26 percent which caused fcf to fall that year even though revenue was rising using information investor may have wanted to course chain uh, to investigate whether deck whether deck was would be able to resolve their inventory issues or if the UGG boot was simply falling out of fashion before making an investment with the potential for extra risk. Credit problems. A change in working capital can be caused by inventory or a shift in accounts payable and receivable if a company's sales are struggling so they extend more generous payment terms to their clients. Accounts receivable 
room C will, will rise, which is a negative adjustment to FCF. Alternatively, perhaps a company's suppliers are not willing to extend credit as generously and require faster payments or reduce accounts payable, which is also a negative adjustment to FCF. From 09 through 15, many solar companies were dealing with this exact kind of credit problems. Sales and income would be inflated by sacrificing more generous terms to clients. However, because of this issue, Offering, offering more, offering more general terms to clients. However, this issue was widely known in the industry. Suppliers were less willing to extend terms and wanted to be paid by solar companies faster. In the situation, the divergence between the fundamental trends was apparently in FCF, but were not immediately obvious by examining the income statement alone. Summary: FC free cash flow reconciles net income by adjusting for non-cash expenses, changes in working capital and capital expenditures, capex, as a measure of profitability is more uneven than net income, but can reveal problems in the in the grave before they arise on the income statements, problems in the fundamentals before they arise on the income statements.